Ribs and french fries. Ribs and french fries? Yes. Okay. Thank you, I love you. Do you see my light? I know, Do yeah. you see my shadow? Yeah, you're very shadowed. I know. It's fine. I love you! Okay. Bye! Jay and today I'm here with yet another book haul because Value Village had another 50% off books day so you know your girl hit that up real quick so without further ado let us get started. <sighs> the first book that I have is The Boy Who Drew Monsters by Keith Donahue and this sounds so good. So the book follows a 10 year old named Jack Peter who has a near-death experience three years earlier where he almost drowned so he's very afraid to leave his house and so he starts drawing monsters that he thinks are out in the world and then the monsters come to life and wreak havoc on the world and I'm just here for the death and the blood and the gore and the apparently it's real scary according to uh, the back of the book. So I am ready. I'm so excited for it because horror. The next book I have is called Rooms by Lauren Oliver. I literally bought this book because of Lauren Oliver and I've read like six of her books and I usually rate them 3.5 or higher. So I believe this is her middle grade book. The only middle grade book that I've read from her is Liesl and Poe, which I only gave a 2.5 to. That's like the only low rating Lauren Oliver book I've given so I pretty much usually always like her books so we're we're going in with high hopes but we'll see. The next book I have I'm really excited about because it was one of my most anticipated when it first came out and it is Her Every Fear by Peter Swanson. The book follows a woman named Kate who agrees to switch apartments with her cousin but when she arrives at the apartment she discovers that the next door neighbor has actually been murdered and the police think that it was her cousin who did the murder. Her cousin Corbin it convinces her that it's not actually true. He didn't murder his next door neighbor but that's when she finds some disturbing things in the apartment and kind of changes her mind and it's the story of that but I think it sounds really good I'm super excited about it and I'm hopefully gonna read it fairly soon the next book I have also super excited about because it was again one of my most anticipated when it came out but it is The Possessions by Sarah Flannerly Murphy this follows a woman who is able to touch objects and like talk to the dead through these objects and so she works for a company where grieving loved ones can come and reconnect with their loved ones. So she gets hired by a man and she reconnects him with his deceased wife. She then becomes very obsessed with this couple. She tries to get very close to the husband, keep him in her grasp, and it just sounds real good. I'm guessing that she gets possessed by the wife and that's why she's acting this way, but we're gonna find out when we read it, but I'm really excited about it. The next book I bought because it is a sequel to a book that I already own, so I was like, it's here, we might as well buy it. I'm probably gonna like it because it's a thriller book. Your girl usually enjoys her thriller books. So it's Tear Me Apart by J.T. Ellison, and this is the sequel to Lie to Me. I'm not gonna read the synopsis since it is the second in the series, so... The next book I have is In a Cottage in a Wood by Cass Green. Honestly, don't know what this is about. Gonna guess it's about a cabin in the wood and shit goes down and somebody dies or somebody did die and then somebody stumbles across it because it's in the woods. I don't know. I don't remember. I was wrong. It follows a woman who meets a troubled woman on a bridge who's about to jump and she convinces her not to do the jump and so she gives her her cottage in the woods and she arrives at the cottage at the woods and realizes that it's hella spooky and then shit goes down from there. Sounds real good. I remember why I bought it now because it sounds like it's a good time. So super excited about this one as well. The next book that I have I bought because my mom showed it to me and was like this sounds up your alley. She's correct. It's The Girl in the Ice by Robert Brinstad. It follows a young boy who discovers the body of a woman under ice and then he reports it to the police and they say that it's not the first body and they think that a serial killer is on the loose and I love me some serial killers so I'm super excited about this one as well. The next book I have I'm really excited about because I read her last 
novel that was released and I'm pretty sure she's going to be one of my favorite authors so that's why I bought this because I was like we need to see if she actually is going to be one of my favorites. I give it a 5 out of 5 stars. It was Lying in Wait by Liz Nungit. This is Unraveling Oliver by Liz Nungit and I just literally bought it because of Liz Nungit. Don't know what it's about but I'm assuming death is going to occur or something's going to happen with Oliver and I'm ready. And then the final book that I have is because I have the first, second, and fourth books in the series so I figured one day I will find the third book and uh, today is that day. It is Tiger's Voyage by Colleen Hook. The first book in this series is Tiger's Curse. Have I read it yet? No, but now I have four of the five books in the series, so we're gonna get to it one day. It has a really annoying sticker that I can't get off though, and it's driving me insane. Alright guys, so that was my haul video for this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!